Men are at higher risk than women of dying from COVID-19. And now researchers on Long Island are testing to see whether estrogen could be a treatment. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has this. The infection rate is similar. Uh, but severity of symptoms is much higher in men. Dr. Antonio Gasparis is a professor of surgery at the Renaissance School of Medicine at Stony Brook University. Last month, he started noticing there were a lot more young men with COVID-19 in the ICU than young women. You know, females tend to have a better immune response, but the difference was so dramatic that I thought, you know, maybe there is a hormonal uh, reason for this. That idea sparked a new estrogen trial, which started Friday at Stony Brook. Dr. Sharon Nachman is lead investigator on the study, administering a low dose estrogen patch to men over the age of 18 and women over the age of 55 who are COVID positive. We hope to have an answer of is this a viable choice for treatment? There is estrogen receptors in the lungs, and that's what. Um, the virus does attack. Patients will wear the patch for seven days. Each one contains 120th the amount of estrogen in pregnant women. And the doctors say the male ego should not be concerned. There's no real feminizing effect of one week of estrogen. The researchers say another interesting observation, pregnant women with coronavirus have been faring far better than their counterparts during the H1N1 pandemic in 2009. We saw huge quantities of pregnant women coming into the hospital with pneumonias. We're seeing nothing like those rates at all, which again argues for estrogen being part of the answer to protection. But a big warning with this story, do not try this at home. People should be cautious and not go out and get their own estrogen patch. The trial is expected to last through the fall. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.